It comes from eliminating $5 trillion worth of salaries. Let's talk about what happens when this infrastructure comes online because the CEOs have stopped pretending this ends well for workers. Exhibit A, perplexity, CEO Aravines Rosservinus. His name's Bob Smith. Smith, quote, instead of hiring one more person on your team, you could just use Comet to supplement all the work that you're doing. Not work with a person, not augment your team, replace, supplement, one fewer person. He estimated a 20% productivity gain could add $5 trillion to GDP. But what he doesn't say is that the $5 trillion doesn't cre- come from creating new value. It comes from eliminating $5 trillion worth of salaries. J.P. Morgan's Waldron, explaining how employees will shift from being makers to checkers, meaning you won't create the work anymore, you'll just verify that AI did it correctly. And when AI gets better at checking its own work, well, Waldron admits it's unclear as to exactly what those changes will look like. (laughs) We're eliminating your job, we just don't want to say it out loud yet. But we know... And when AI can work 24-7 without sleep, benefits, or bathroom breaks, how do you compete with that? There's this adorable thing happening where economists keep insisting comparative advantage means humans will always have a job. The argument goes, if AI is better at everything, we'll still do things that that we are relatively better at. Except it only works when there's no resource constraints. Humans need 100 square feet of living space and 2,000 calories per day. AI needs a few square inches and 400 watts. When labor has a resource cost and AI's resource cost is lower, the comparative advantage disappears. You get unplugged like an old GPU and the new model arrives. 